there are two cylinders kept in the channel and they are in equilibrium. We have to find reactions at the contact points A, B, C and D. The first step in solving such problem is to draw an FBD of the cylinders and here you find the FBDs of the two cylinders. The two cylinders have been separated and isolated from the walls of the channel and also shown are the forces acting on each of them. Notice that the smaller cylinder is touching the vertical wall and therefore the reaction force acting on the cylinder is towards the left and is horizontal. The weight of 50 kilo Newton acts at the center of the cylinder. The contact force RD between the two cylinders is pointing towards the center and a force of the same magnitude is also acting on the larger cylinder at point D and the line of action of both these contact forces is same and it passes through centers of both the cylinders. The larger cylinder has the reaction force at point B pointing upwards due to the base of the channel. The weight of 100 kilo Newton acts at the center of the larger cylinder and the reaction force due to the inclined surface of the channel acts at point A and it is normal to the surface and therefore it passes through the center O. So the FBD is complete in all respects. All the forces acting on each of the cylinders have been rightly shown. Now let us find out the angles these forces make with the X and Y axis so that we could determine their components and write the equations of equilibrium. Since there are three forces acting on the smaller cylinder and only two are unknown RC and RD, we deal with FBD of smaller cylinder first. Let us first draw the forces acting at the center point P, the point of concurrency on which all the forces are acting. Let's say this is X axis and this is Y axis. The force RC acts towards the left and is horizontal. The force RD is pointing in this direction. We do not know the angle it makes with the X axis. Let's call it theta and the same angle the line OP will make with the horizontal therefore this angle also is theta. The weight of 50 kilo Newtons acts downwards and we have to first find the angle theta. In order to do so we should First find out this distance, let us call it point F. We have to find the distance OF, we know the distance OP that is the sum of the radii of the two cylinders and in order to find OF we should find BG, let us call this point is G, this is H and let us say this is E. We know the distance EH which is 1.2 meters. So BG is equal to EH that is 1.2 minus EB minus GH and GH is GH is same as P C and therefore it will be equal to the radius of the smaller cylinder which is 0.35 meters. Now we have to find the distance E B. This plane makes an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal. The line A O is normal to this plane therefore the line A O would make an angle of 50 degrees with the vertical and 
let us draw a line o e that gives us two congruent right angle triangles a o e and b o e this side is equal to this side this is common and therefore the line o e will be the bisector of the angle a o b and therefore this angle would be 25 degrees and hence eb would be 0 0.6 which is ob times tan 25 degrees so we can say bg will be equal to 1.2 minus 0 0.6 which is the radius of the larger cylinder times tan 25 degrees minus gh which is the radius of the smaller cylinder and is equal to 0 0.35 meters. This will work out to 0 0.57 meters. Now, we know OP, it is the sum of the radius of the two cylinders and therefore, will be equal to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.35 equal to 0 0.95 meters and therefore, cos theta would be equal to O f upon O p and O f is same as B g. So, we will be equal to O f upon O p will be equal to B g upon O p and therefore, will be equal to 0 0.57 upon 0 0.95 which is equal to 0 0.6 and this will give us theta equal to cos inverse of 0 0.6 which will be equal to 53 degrees. Now that we know the angle, this angle, we can write the equilibrium equations. Let us first take up the equilibrium equation in the y axis, which is sigma f y equal to 0 and the components of the forces we have in y axis are minus 50 kilo Newton, this force and component of R d which will be equal to R d sin of 53 equal to 0. Therefore, R d would be equal to 50 upon sin 53 and this would work out to 62.6 kilo newtons. Now, we can use the second equilibrium equation sigma f x equal to 0 in the x direction we have R c and the component of R d. So, we can say minus R c plus R d cos theta. Now, we know the value of R d. R d cos theta is 53 degrees equal to 0. This is 62.6 and therefore, R c would be equal to 62.6 into cos 53 degrees which will work out to 37.67 kilo newtons. So, 
we now know the reaction forces at point C and D. Now, let us turn our attention to the larger cylinder to find out the remaining two reaction forces R A and R B. So, we have copied the values of R C and R D here that we got from the previous slide. We had already made the F B D or larger cylinder and now at the point of concurrency point O, we show all the forces R D makes an angle of theta with the x axis. Theta is equal to 53 degrees. R A is normal to the plane which is makes an angle of 50 degrees. This is the plane which makes angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal. Therefore, the normal would make an angle of this is 50 degrees this will make an angle of 40 degrees. Therefore, R A would make an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal. Now, let us write the equilibrium equation in x direction sigma f x equal to 0. We have components of only R A and R D in the x direction. So, we can say R A cos 40 minus R D, R D is 62.6. So, 62.6 times cos of 53 degrees equal to 0. Therefore, R A is equal to 62.6 times cos 53 whole divided by cos 40 degrees and this would yield the value of R A as 49.2 kilo newtons. Now, we write the second equilibrium equation for y direction sigma f y equal to 0 and now we have all the four forces having components in y direction. The first is R B itself in positive y direction. So, R B minus 100 kilo newtons plus R A sin 40 degrees minus R D sin 53 degrees equal to 0. This equation can be simplified to R B equals 100 minus R A which is 49.2 sin 40 plus R D sin 53 which is R D is equal to 62.6 sin 53 and this will simplify to 118.4 kilo newtons. So, R A is 49.2 kilo newtons, R B is 118.4 kilo newtons, R D and R C values are written here. So, that is the answer and we are done. So, if you like the video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.